What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Ricer Rob coming back at you from Ricer Race VT. So uh, today I have the skyline still behind me. A um, couple things I did do off camera was, uh, let's see, the oil change. I did my outer tie rod, got that from DK Tech. Um, did some of my different little LED bulb install stuff uh, just because I didn't think it was like the craziest stuff that needed to be uh, filmed for uh, content on YouTube. But if you do want to see any of that, comment down below and I will happily redo any of those mods. Um, but hopefully we are uh, one step closer to getting ready for Tuner Evo. I, uh, I actually have in front of me the Hikus Delete bar from GK Tech. So let me just uh, slap to... Or let me just cut to a clip of that. This is the GK Tech Hikus Delete. We have some bolts, nuts, washers. These are the caps for the, uh, the lines. And then these are some uh, washers that have little... Uh, actually, they don't. Anyway, these are little washers to go on the back side of the bar um, between the car. So let me actually rip out all these and open it up. Okay, so for this one, I did do a little bit of research um, beforehand. I believe the only tools I'm gonna need are 17, 19 um, in sockets and uh, wrench. And that'll be to unbolt these. I'm not actually sure what size for the uh, inner hardware stuff, but. All right, so I'm underneath the skyline right now. As you can see, it does have the Hika system still installed. This is just kind of like a little before. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is, let's see, so there are one, two bolts up there. There's the two lines right here. I have to disconnect these guys on both sides. Um, let's see. And then there is a like a bolt inside of here but I don't actually know if I have to take that out now that I'm looking at it uh, mainly because the new arm has this piece so I should just have to take this out and then just remove the whole rack so these are 19s that. I am going to actually need to get a, uh, a big wrench to loosen this so I can rotate this, I believe. Um, otherwise, let's see. Well, one nuts off. I, uh, I think this was actually supposed to be 180 degrees around so that you could take the, the bolt out. But I'm gonna get a crescent wrench and be right back. All right, we're back. Got my crescent wrench. I can loosen this nut. Uh, 
loosen that, and then that should allow for me, let's see. I grabbed a 21 and a 22. I don't know if it's the right size for any of this, but. Man. This is so much fun. Oh, okay. So, let's see. How can I grab this? I'm gonna try and rotate this fork down so I can remove the bolt. Uh, let me grab a, that one. All right, let's try this eight millimeter Allen. God, this is a long bolt. Ah, okay. So there's that. I'm hoping, let's see. This is gonna be nice and just drop out. Oh, wow, look at that, it's being nice and dropped out. Okay, let's move that to the side. This was extremely loose. gonna take that out cool um, one side is done for removing that I'm gonna move on to the other side which with the exhaust still installed I'm sure there's going to be so much fun Hopefully guys, you hopefully you guys can see, but I'm gonna try and work around this exhaust to get this guy off. Alright, um, let's see. Came out nice. Let's grab our crescent wrench. Checking. Needs to go down. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. So I'm gonna try and spin it again. I really don't want to move, remove the exhaust. Like, really. Oh, man. I really wish I just did the, the... Okay, so I resealed my gas tank, too. I did that off camera. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Oh. This might be the ticket.
I'm sure the exhaust isn't even hard to drop. I just really don't want to do it. Okay, maybe I'll just like remove it from these hangers. I don't really want to do that either. Alright, let's just see what we can do. After a lot of struggling, I rotated it. Holy shit. God damn it. And I hope you guys can see working up on this thing. Trying to remove this stupid long bolt. Actually, a twenty-four. again one bolt here one a little bit off camera on the right and then there's these two lines that need to be removed so I'm gonna do that and get something to catch all of the fluid well I believe it's a maybe a 17 actually Okay. All right, we disconnected these guys. So they're just kind of dripping. So that's where those little plugs will go. And then uh, the highest delete bar goes up there as well. These guys. look at this part of the installation which was kind of my bad but it would make sense to me to just put the cap on there oh well I guess it can't really crush to anything so I guess they're saying move it up and add 
inside the cylinder. But again, I don't really see how that works. With a gasket on top. Alright, well, this very well could be wrong, but I'm going to just go for it. Doesn't make sense. Take two. Um, I'm just going to try and do this again. So these caps, just to loosely fit first, they do thread right on. But they won't collapse against anything. So I guess it would be putting this, like this, like this, like this. I don't know why they give you these crush gaskets or these spacers with second crush gaskets when you can't put this together because it's too long. And the spacer could be for the bar itself, but... Oh, is this for the four-wheel steering thing? Yeah. Oh, it's a lockout kit, right? Yeah. Uh, I just did another round of research. The crush gaskets, I don't know, again, why they're supplied. Um, every install I'm seeing, no one's using them. The black spacer does go behind for the um, bar to mount to. And yeah, I really, I just don't understand why they gave me the crush gasket, but I'm actually gonna remove it just because again, I don't get it. Uh, maybe not. I did put this one on kind of tight. Grab the other cap for the other line. Oh, sorry. I'll throw the crush gasket on here just in case, but I I know it doesn't actually do anything, so I don't know again why it's supplied. But alright, let me grab my 17. I believe it's a 23, but I'm just going to use a wrench. Oh man, I forgot that would seem pretty logical. I'm going to try and not remove it.
small washer behind it. Bolt. mounted caps are on there you gotta start a messing with this uh let's see i grabbed my bolt of alignment I should get a wheel and just check it but all right on to side two the dirty job and I gotta say out of all the things I've been doing recently that was absolutely the least fun so but I was able to get it done in less than a day and honestly and I guess it really wasn't that difficult it was just kind of like a pain in the ass uh, but if you want to pick up one for yourself I will absolutely put a link in the description below um, again, shout out to GK Tech because, again, they just really make quality products and obviously they are a little, um, I guess they range in prices. Some of them are really expensive. Some of them are way more affordable than I would think. The Hikest Elite was only like 90 bucks, 80 bucks or something. Um, and I did replace that front heim joint in the uh, outer tie rod. So all in all, uh, not that bad, but thank you again, G GK Tech, for... Uh, supplying good parts. So I'm going to go uh, kind of clean things up now and uh, try and figure out when I'm going to do those tires. I think uh, Demir E30 VT is going to help me um, get those swapped out. So I just got some 205 45 17s for the 17 inch RSs uh, going from a 205 40 17 and a 215 45. So a little bit taller of a sidewall in the front and then a smaller narrower tire in the rear um 
FRS Patty got back to me about my my uh, busted low glow side strip. Um, so that comes in tomorrow, and then he's gonna overnight that to me. So I should see that Thursday. Cut it close, but hopefully we are good for Tuner Evo. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and uh, don't forget to like and drop a comment below on uh, you know what your thoughts are on GK Tech and uh, Hikus Delete and I don't know. Pick up uh, some new merch, Upstairs Customs. But no, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.